Welcome to Tulum Terrassa Sessions with Tristan Gatto. I'm Tristan Gatto. If you're new to me, I've been a physical therapy professional and celebrity yoga trainer for over a decade. I've worked with companies like Procter & Gamble and Capitol Records and also celebrities like Suzanne Somers. But my biggest passion is helping people just like you get out of pain and stiffness faster than any other method out there. And we're going to start today. So. Today's session is all about opening up the hips, front, back, and side. That's usually the culprit for low back pain. And a lot of these moves are pulled from my top-selling neck and back pain course, 14 Days Final Reset. And I'll be happy to tell you more about that after this video. So today we're going to center in, and I'm going to have you actually center in on your stomach. And the reason we're going to do this is we want to bring some extension into the low back and be really gentle here. So go ahead and come down to your elbows. Drop the pelvis down, and if it feels good, you can start with an elbow prop or come all the way down to your stomach and rest onto your hands. Toes can stay stuck, tucked under, or you can lay the feet down. No worries, no judgments, and just stay. And I want you to breathe into your low back. So you're really feeling like you're breathing way below the ribs, down into the hips. Take another deep breath in. Exhale out. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Another deep breath in. Exhale out. Two more, breathe in. Breathe out. Last one, breathe in. And breathe out. From here, just begin to bend the knees, flex the feet, and you're just gonna rock the knees side to side to open up the low back. And just windshield wiper the feet, being really cautious, really gentle with the low back. Keeping the breath flowing in and out. And just relax here. This should be really calming, really soothing. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna lay the feet down. Hands are going to come alongside body. This is a scorpion stretch. You may or may not be able to do this. Just try it out. See what it feels like. You're going to bend your right knee and you're just going to roll towards your left hip and try to touch that foot to the floor. No worries. If not, just stay here and breathe. You're aiming to get the chest towards the floor and just breathe. Try not to crunch up that left side. Good. Come back to center. Bring the leg down. Left leg bends and you'll rotate and start to twist. No worries, no judgments. Take your time. If you get a leg cramp, feel free to extend the leg. Come back to center. And now we're just going to alternate. So you're going to do the right. Just breathing in and relaxing. Come back down over to the left, rolling and touch, trying to touch that foot down. One more each side. You're doing great. Last one. Awesome. Go ahead and bring your hands alongside body, pressing up into your hands and knees. And we're gonna widen the feet out and tuck the heels under. So we want a really, really wide stance in the knees, almost to the edges of your mat. You're gonna take a deep breath in, exhale, press the hips back. So we're gonna mobilize here. We're gonna shift in and out of this. Inhale, exhale, press back. Good, inhale. And you should feel a light little stretch to your low back. Exhale. Inhale, mobilizing the hips. Exhale. Good, inhale. Exhale. Now flip the feet under, tuck the toes together, 
inhale, and then as you exhale, press all the way back and stretch. Deep child's pose. Just keep breathing, take your time. Come back up into tabletop, deep breath in. Bring the knees back under. And you're gonna sit back towards your heels, come up onto your knees. We're gonna press the hips forward again. If this doesn't feel good on your knees, make sure to pad with a towel. Hands are gonna become behind the back. Roll the shoulder blades back, lift the chest up and just breathe. You can lightly release the chin, but try to tuck the chin back just a touch. Breathing and relaxing. Good, come out of this now. You can sit towards your heels, shake your head out, shake your neck out. And we're gonna step the right foot forward, coming into a little lunge here. The trick here to stretch the hip flexor is we wanna tuck the tail down, pull the pelvis up, and deepen the hip socket back. So we're pushing into the back leg as if you're gonna scuff the back toe back. We're gonna deepen the hip socket and zip up. From here, hand will rest on your right thigh, right hand, right thigh, left arm goes up, and we lean over to the right. Staying here, breathing, really pushing back into the back foot to activate your glute. Stay here and breathe. Good, you're gonna swoop down out of this and we're just gonna shift to the side of the mat. You're gonna step your foot out to the side long ways. So you'll be facing me, I'm facing you and you're gonna reach out overhead, hand to the side and really stretch the opposite side. Staying here, breathing. Again, pad your knee, use the resistance from the floor with your hand to help cushion the knee a bit more. Stay here and breathe. Beautiful, take this top arm now, sweep it down and around, come back to tabletop. And just shake the hips out, pick the knees up, give them a little break. No worries, no judgments. We're gonna step the left foot forward now Come up and step it through. Again, deepen the hip socket. Push back through the back leg. Left hand on the left thigh. Right hand reaches up, breathe in. Exhale and lean towards the left. You'll feel that in the hip flexor in the side. Really working in deep into the core. Take that top arm now, breathe in, and we're gonna sweep back to the front, to the side of the mat. Pivot the knee, stretch out the left leg. Right hand comes down to your side and you lasso that arm overhead. Really stretching into the side. Breathing in. Exhale out. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Last one, deep breath in and exhale out, sweep that arm down and around, beautiful. All right, we're gonna come to sit onto your butt, swing the legs around, and we're just gonna rock and pivot the knees side to side. Mobilizing, massaging the butt with the floor. And let's take the knees over to the right. And if you can, try to extend that right leg back and we're gonna walk our way, walk our way until we're on the shin bone into pigeon pose. If you don't have that, stay in the stag position here, lifting up and out of the pelvis, or you can come slightly forward too if you don't have that rotation in the chest. This is just as effective as to come right here and get into the side of the hip as opposed to directly side. No worries, no judgments. Whatever feels good for you, I'm gonna take the full expression into pigeon pose. I'm gonna take this higher today and lift up. And you're gonna feel that nice stretch into the right hip flexor and 
or the left hip flexor, right hip flexor for me, left hip flexor for you. And just breathe and relax. Three to four breaths here, your pace. Then slowly, slowly and gently breathe, sit back towards that hip. And sitting back helps to free up the hip and then you'll roll the hip side to side. And let's take this to the opposite side now. Super easy, gentle, again, stag forward if you choose or directly side or begin to roll up onto the shin, be really cautious with your knee and you have full pigeon pose. Stay and breathe. And this is, should be really restorative, really relaxing, gentle. If you were here with me on the terrassa, there is a really, really nice breeze here and the sun is setting beautifully. I'm sure you can see it on the plants right now. <laughs> awesome. Go ahead and come out of this now, roll back to your hips. And just begin to release that. Awesome. We're going to roll down to your back to open up the piriformis muscle and also to mobilize the hips. This is my favorite way to mobilize hips. So as you relax back, bring the knees in towards your chest and swirl them out and around hip circles. Breathing in, exhale out. If you're having back pain throughout the day or you're feeling really stiff, this is a good one just to go onto the ground and start doing these circles, linking with your breath and just do 30 seconds to a minute one way and then 30 seconds to a minute the opposite way. It can feel like a lot, 30 seconds to a minute can sometimes feel pretty long. But what this repetition does is just to rock the pelvis, massage the back, mobilize the low spine. Reverse this now, coming down, inhaling, exhaling down. And this is really gentle, really restorative. Beautiful. Now let's cross the right knee over the left and we're going to hook the hands behind the left knee and pull the knees into the chest, stretching out the right side of the hip. Go ahead and swap the knees out left over right hooking behind the thighs holding breathing Right, unravel here, hug both knees into the chest, give yourself a deep breath in and sigh it out. <sighs> Two more like this, inhale, exhale. <sighs> Last one, inhale and exhale. <sighs> Extend your right leg and bring the left one down, really stretch. Two more breaths, inhale. Last one. Bring both knees into your chest, exhale. Left leg's gonna extend, deep breath in. Grab behind, exhale, right leg goes down. Breathe in. Exhale. And it's okay for that knee to bend a bit, but you wanna keep a stretch on the hamstring, breathe in. Exhale, last one, breathe in, and exhale, bend the knee, stretch out overhead, and roll to your side, press up, and come into an easy seat. Again, grab your pillow if you want, just to get comfortable.
an easy seat. Some spinal waves to finish off this practice, inhaling forward, exhaling back, inhaling forward, exhaling back. Last one, deep breath in. And exhale, take the arms forward and up, deep breath, uniting the palms overhead, and then exhale the thumbs between the brows with clarity and thought. Settling towards your mouth, speak kind, honest words. And finally, settle at your heart space, give a kind, open heart. Take the energy you feel now, let it vibrate through every cell of your body, and send that energy out to your loved ones and maybe even a perfect stranger. And know that the best and greatest in me honors and recognizes the best and greatest in you. Thanks so much for joining me. Namaste and Beyonce. Well, thanks so much for joining me. If you love this video, feel free to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more sessions from the Tulum Terrassa with Tristan Gatto. And if you're interested in learning more about the 14 days final reset and how to fix your neck and back pain in just two weeks, feel free to look in the description for the link.